2129 calories. So that means if you wanted to sustain your current mass with everything you're doing right now and just stay at 120 pounds, you would need to consume 2,129 calories. Yeah. Now, I, I would definitely say that for your height, that you could still afford to safely lose weight like without starving or anything of that nature. If we put you in a course deficit to drop one pound of body fat per week, I'm coming up with is a calorie level of 1629 calories. Sounds like you're actually under eating a little bit. You could weigh 120 pounds and look completely different than what you look like right now. So um, all that being said, it sounds like you are under eating based off of the volume of the training that you're doing. Before I would do any carb cycling or anything advanced with you, what I would actually do is I would tweak your macros and boost your calories because what's probably happening, Alva, is you've been on a caloric deficit for a prolonged period of time, especially if your carbs are getting lower and lower and lower. What's going to happen is as your insulin levels drop, the insulin hormone is going to cause another hormone, which is leptin, going to cause your leptin levels to drop. When your leptin levels drop, what happens is your body is actually going to hold on to all of your stored body fat because your body is getting a signal that it's starving. And women are particularly sensitive to the leptin levels because our bodies, whether or not we're pregnant, our bodies are trying to protect the possibility of growing a fetus inside of ourselves. Yeah. So women are extremely sensitive to the like, that starvation signal, and that's why women just have completely harder time compared to men. You're doing everything right, but it just sounds like you might need to eat a little bit more based off of how much you're training. Are you training in the morning, in the afternoon? Like, what does the nature of your training look like? Usually pretty early in the morning. I usually don't have a meal beforehand. I just have coffee. I mean, granted, there is, like, carbs. I do kind of do, like, a coffee drink, so it's not just black mm -hmm. coffee. But I noticed yesterday I went to the gym, I want to say around like 12 o'clock and I already had gotten in two meals and I was, I had so much more strength and energy, like so much more. I actually even hit a new PR with my deadlifts and I was very surprised and I think it's probably because I had food in my system. Yeah, that's going to make a huge difference. Um, now you can definitely cardio in the fasted state, but any weight training... I, I never recommend fasted weight training. It always occurs you to have a minimum of 15 to 20 grams of carbs before a weight training session. So of your 165 grams of carbs, if we time them properly, we can really maximize the utilization of the carbs. So for instance, before you weight train, like maybe something as simple as like half of a banana okay. um, before, before a weight training session. And then for post-workout, you should also have a at least 20 grams of carbs so that way all of your depleted glycogen from your muscle cells will be replenished and it's really important to do that because if you just have carbs whenever you feel like it there is a potential that they could be stored as body fat so you always want to time your carbs around your weight training so i just got off the phone with christine from gauge girl training if you've been watching my channel some of like my weight loss videos you probably have seen I've mentioned her a lot. She has some of like the best content in my opinion on YouTube for fitness, health, and nutrition. And I was just talking to her. We came up with macros. I'm happy because I could eat a lot more. I could eat like 200, 200 calories more than I originally was eating, which is wonderful. And I was getting to that point where I was just feeling hungry almost every single day. And I was even feeling weaker in the gym. So I think that I needed some type of like restructure to my nutrition because i feel like my training has increased it's gotten better i've gotten stronger so i need it tweaking to my nutrition so currently i am on 45 grams of fat 165 grams of carbs and 135 grams of protein which sounds sounds really really good and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take some before shots starting today which is the 10th of September and I officially have like five months that I've been in my weight loss stage if you guys are wondering and I started out at 148 pounds I've mentioned that a few times and I am now like at 120 pounds so I did hit my goal on the 24th of April 
my body fat was at 35 and my weight was at 146. My measurements on May 11th, 2017, I was at 32.6% body fat. I was 140.4 pounds. The most recent measurements that I have, these were from the 28th of August. Yeah, so this, these are from the 28th of August of this year. My body fat is at 26.2% and my weight was at 122.2. I haven't gotten like new measurements, but I will. I'm probably gonna get them on Wednesday and I'll do my best to either include that or give those to you guys next time if you guys are wondering. My chest now is at 20, 32.2, so I lost, I lost 3.3 inches from my chest. My hips were at 42, my hips now are at 36.5. Yeah, so I lost 5.5 inches from my hips and my waist i lost 4.4 inches 4.4 inches from my waist and for to let you guys know i did not get my thighs measured or did i get my biceps we were kind of in a hurry so chest we do right here we don't do like the boobs we do right here hips we do literally like down here so not here but like down here to like where my butt is at and then waist we don't do this we do where my navel's at so we do waist right here so i think i'm gonna start doing my own measurements i'm probably gonna go ahead and eat real quick i was kind of in a funk because i wanted to go to church and i wasn't able to and i was like mad at myself i'm kind of over it now um I'm probably going to go ahead and eat, go buy measuring tape so that tomorrow morning I can take measurements and take photos for Christine. I will keep you guys going with me today. I don't really know. I have a lot of like housework kind of to do, like errands to run today on this Sunday. But I know that tonight we are trying to go out and watch it. Oh my god, I'm not trying to watch that movie. But we might be going out with friends to watch it. I need to get my nails done. I need to clean here. I need to put away clothes. I need to go grocery shop. So I will do my best to bring you guys along with me. Getting good food shots. Hey, why aren't you like me? Ruben, say hi. I'm scared. <laughs> say hi, Jamie. Hi. All right, so it is September 11th, Monday. It is around three o'clock. Whoa, I was off. And I just finished filming this makeup look that I got going on right now. Yesterday, I believe I left you guys off like pretty much after my lunch. We went to go see It, Cosa, La Cosa. And it was, honestly, it was a little, scary it was definitely creepy and it was really funny so it was just a good movie a really good movie i'm going to show you guys my lunch and i'm also going to be talking to you guys a little bit about um how my first day on higher macros went and how my training went on higher macros i did eat in the morning i usually eat after i work out my first meal meal is after i work out but i had a pretty decent food meal a little meal i had a protein donut which i'm sure you guys have seen before if you have watched my videos if not it's from their donuts from donut bar and they are like protein donuts and the macros on that are pretty good so i had that and my workout was like i don't know if it's a mental effect i really don't think so i just wasn't tired and i lasted throughout my hour and a half to i think almost two hours workout i did um 30 minutes on the stairmaster and i did basically all upper body today so I'm going to go ahead and make myself some food. We did buy groceries, so I also will be showing you guys pretty much what I bought. Because Ruben and Jamie organized it. <laughs> and I'm kind of picky when it comes to organizing the fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and redo it. I'm going to go ahead and get up, set up my little lunch. And then I will be sharing that with you guys. Alright, so this is my lunch. The lunch. I have a bowl here. And I'll give you guys... A different shot of it right now i have baby spinach in it zucchini fries um trader joe's brown rice i just honestly i buy the ones that you just microwave it is what it is i just try and get the ones that um 
say like just brown rice and the ingredients and like maybe a, a one or two little fillers and that's it i try and avoid stuff that has a bunch of ingredients um chicken three ounces of chicken and i seasoned my chicken with lemon pepper and regular black pepper so this is it and i really like like spicy food so i put some cholula on it and i'm just gonna sprinkle some limon just a, just a little bit you know so i'm gonna go ahead and eat this up and then I will be talking to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and take um, the Skinny Man Super Fat Burning Gummies. Again, guys, this, this is just basically like a supplement in a, what is it called? In a gummy form because they taste a little yummy. They're a little treat that have some type of, um, not some type of, that have an ingredient that just helps with suppressing your appetite. And that is Garcinia Cambogia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly extract and that's 500 milligrams of that and it tastes good if you're on supplements that are like this or even fish oil make sure you track it because these have calories y'all they have carbs okay so let's talk about increasing calories so i recently by recently i mean yesterday <clears throat> went from a 1400 i want to say high 1300s to 1400 deficit and we added in like 200 or like 150 more calories because i was i want to say i was consuming about 1430 calories so actually let's do 1400 so we added in around 220 calories now i know that to some people that may be a lot in like a time spent but i was on deficit for a pretty long time and by a long time I want to say five months like and I mean a constant deficit for five months I completely trust Christine from Gage Real Training and I trust the process increasing calories is just part of the process that you're gonna have to trust you have to trust the process I know that it's gonna feel a little bit scary to increase calories I know it's gonna feel a little bit wor worrisome I think when you get to that point when you are changing your body and you're in a deficit you're in a weight loss stage i feel like i have now trans transferred from weight loss stage weight loss yeah phase to a fat loss phase so my main concern now is not necessarily the number on the scale it is my body fat percentage that is what i'm trying to really lower so last time i checked i was at a 26 percent um body fat and I would like to get it to a 20% so I would like to drop about 6% body fat and if even possible like 18% people sometimes at the gym have asked me like what are you planning for you know why, why are you working out like what are you gonna do and I'm just like I just this is just a goal that I now have and I just really want to accomplish it this is gonna sound kind of weird but I really have fallen in love with the process and training has put me in a really different state of mind I don't know if I have shared this before. I think I have a few times. But I won't really get too much into detail because, to be quite honest, I don't really want to share that much of it. I have deal with, dealt with anxiety before. Pretty difficult, I want to say. Um, and it's something that my dad has dealt with pretty much his whole life. And my dad would always tell me, like, you need to work out, you need to get out, you need to run, do exercise, it's really good for your mind. My dad, having dealt with anxiety in his life, he's kind of the person that i go and i look for when i'm feeling really really anxious and just really really nervous he's the person that i go to because he always knows what to say to calm me down and he would tell me like go out take a walk exercise maybe like those endorphins will clear your mind and i really believe it now after training i have been in such a better place pretty much most of the time with my mental clarity and just my mental space i just feel so much better about myself and it's not necessarily like the weight loss trust me body image it does get to you you do sometimes are like do i have something getting bigger or whatever you know that type of shit girls deal with we deal with it there's things that other people do in life that makes them feel really great some people love to travel some people love to put on makeup like i do and i know there's a bunch of you that love putting on makeup it just makes you feel good well i found this now with training and i feel like i always like to work out because i would always find a way to either go on a walk or go on a run but now that i've kind of have seen the possibilities of it that 
if I'm consistent at it and I push myself at it, I just feel stronger and it's just kind of like a goal and of course you fall in love with the results that you feel but also look wise like you know you're like cool i'm getting leaner cool i have some muscle right here on my bag you know it's there's good aspects to it pretty much all around so it's just a goal that i have to get to a 20 percent body fat or an 18 percent body fat because those are my current goals right now a 1300 1400 like calorie intake was just not gonna do it for me anymore i'm trying to deadlift better i'm trying to squat better i'm trying to do these compound movements i was even talking to ruben the other day about benching now like that i should probably i told him i should probably start working out my chest just in general so that my entire body could be strong all around because i don't want to completely neglect muscle for running on the stairmaster at like a 15 level you know, I need to eat more. I really needed to eat more and I felt my body, I wanna say after Mexico, even maybe before I went to Mexico um, last month, my body was just like starting to get m mad at me, I wanna say, and hungry. <clears throat> and I continued in a deficit, a pretty aggressive deficit. I did have my days where I was like in the 1500s or very close to the 1600s. But it was in like a constant thing so my training started to suffer and i noticed that at the gym i was just like really grinding through pushing through my workouts <clears throat> and i noticed that when i would go and i would train and i had some type of carbs in my system or some type of really food in my system i had so much more energy i was so much stronger so i think it was just a mix of under eating and basically i basically kind of almost lifted had my lifting sessions with little to nothing in my stomach which is terrible so i'm just happy that i'm increasing calories obviously you get to eat more that's great but um, i'm also excited because i know that my training sessions are probably going to be able to be what i want them to be i'm going to be able to perform how i want to perform really give it my all and not like stress so much about oh my god i'm getting tired i'm gonna pass out type of feeling so that's kind of where i'm at right now where how i feel about increasing my calories and kind of give you guys a little backstory of why i have my goal and you know why i kind of have fallen in love with the grind and i really see how you could become really passionate about working out that concludes this little session you guys will be following me throughout the day i think i'm going to start cleaning out the fridge i'm probably going to reorganize it and then show you guys what i have in there and show you guys what i got and yeah i'm probably going to be doing overnight oats tonight i'll probably be baking some of the little buff protein and that's about it because i have food cooked so i'm going to take out some things and show you guys i did pick up one of my favorite halo top flavors this is the peanut butter cup this one's like one of my favorites and then i have some other halo top oh you guys can see all right I have some other Halo Top all right here. And then I picked up, I like getting some frozen veggies. These are broccoli, asparagus. And I'll kind of get into why I get it frozen in a little bit. I got the veggie pasta. This is really nice. And then I, I've been had these, but I'll share with you guys. These are the chili lime. Burgers. I need to cook these. These are really, really good from Trader Joe's. And I believe that's all I got from the frozen area. We do have some meat down here. That roof, this is most likely going to be Ruben's. It's just beef. So I did pick up a pico de gallo that's prepared from market side. I got this is something new that I'm going to be trying out beef fajitas. I like this type of meat that just comes cooked because you just have to microwave it and it saves you a lot of time, which is great. And then I have these. These are turkey burgers. I got more turkey bacon. This is the kind I buy. I just buy the Oscar Mayer low sodium one. Um, these are turkey burgers from Trader Joe's that I have because I'm going to be cooking most likely tomorrow. So, so stuff that I want to cook tomorrow, I'll leave in the fridge. That's like supposed to be frozen. I got these. These are green leaves. And I thought it was nice because I could make wraps with these. So I actually think I'm going to make myself a wrap before I go upstairs. And I got some strawberries, some watermelon chunks. Me and Ruben are both really big watermelon fans. And I don't know why he, this time he just bought the chunks 
rather than the watermelon. I got some chicken breasts. I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, Ruben got some craft singles. I feel like Ruben got a lot of stuff today. He was missing like a lot of things. I got more baby spinach. I've really been liking baby spinach. And then you can kind of, you guys can see. Right here, I have that big spring mix that's from Market Side that I get from um, Walmart. We got some grapes. I'm gonna have one. If you think grapes are underrated, give this video a thumbs up. All right. I got some zucchini. I like to just cut these up and put them on a pan and let them like grow for a little bit. I just put black pepper. I don't really put oil on them. I should have put any oil on them. This isn't new, but I like to put a lot of lemon on my food. I'm a big like lemon and spicy. I'm a true Mexican. Lemon spice. Pretty much almost everything I eat. In here, there are cucumbers. And I really like cucumbers. This is weird, but I like to have salmon on top of cucumbers. It's so good. It kind of reminds me of sushi. The usual almond milk. Regular milk, egg whites. These are the egg whites that I get. So that is the groceries. I think, I don't know if I should make myself a wrap with like turkey breast in it. Not turkey breast, turkey ham. I left the salmon out because it's fucking frozen. I don't know if I should make myself. Oh my God, I got it from the that salmon back there that's like bent over because of how frozen it is so this is kind of all you need for the microwavable cakes that i've been eating so these are the little packs that i bought for um little buff protein which i feel like i eat them quite often i haven't made one in a while though so i've already tried the ginger shred i haven't tried the blueberry and the beef so i'm gonna go ahead and try that one so this is already in the serving size. I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just packing up to go to the gym. I'm actually gonna take two pairs of shoes today. Because I'm going to be with my trainer today. I see him once a week, sometimes twice. Um, either for 30 minutes or for an hour. And I kind of want to do deadlifts with him. So I'm going to take my Converse for that. But I'm also going to take my... Are these NMDs? These yeah. are like the different NMD ones. NMD R2. NMD R2s for like when I do cardio. Because I'm going to do probably cardio a little bit. And if I do other stuff. Hey, remember my gym bag? Can you throw it at me? But real quick, I did want to share my measurements. From, I want to say last week to today, so it's really not that much of a difference, but I finally got like measuring tape and decided to start taking measurements since I am on new macros. This is the gym bag I shall be taking today, and I have my notebook in here. After this, I'm probably going to go, since I have a little bit of time, put something on my face. I have to write down my measurements that I just took today. I hope I'm doing it correctly. I kind of trust my trainer's um, measurements better because I don't know if there's a specific way of doing them. I probably should YouTube it. From August 28th to the measurements I took today. That is what we've been like two weeks. What? August 28th to today is like two weeks, right? Almost two weeks. Yeah. Almost two weeks. Okay, so I, how do I explain this? When he takes my measurements, my waist, he does it here. I think I said that earlier. He does it by my navel. So I did my navel, but I was always curious about the highest, the smallest part of your waist. So that would be for me, like, right here, where there's the curve. That would be, like, my smallest part of the waist. So by my navel, I lost, and that would be about 1.1 inch. You know what? For two weeks, that doesn't really seem that off to me. And I usually, I'm thinking it was probably, like, 0.8. The reason I'm saying, like, 0.8 of an inch is because when I go see him, it's around this time. I already ate today, I had coffee. I mean, granted, like, not trying to be gross. I did like use the restroom and stuff, so I'm, I don't really feel bloated. But usually when I wake up, that's when I'm at my flattest. So I wanna say if I measure it kind of off, cause I always like to just not be like, yeah, full inch. I'll always kind of just underestimate it a little bit. I wanna say that I'm probably, I wanna say that it's probably at a good, 
by my navel, it's probably at a good 26.8. Let's say 26.7, 26.8. Well, it was at a 27.6. So I want to say I lost about 0.8 of an inch in two weeks, which I'm pretty happy with considering that I'm kind of not necessarily plateauing, but as my body fat gets lower, I feel like it's harder to when I first started, I was pretty overweight as far as like my body fat. My body fat percentage was at 35. Now it should be around 26. So that's a pretty big drop. So I'm not expecting to lose a lot of fat like this. I know it's processed, so I'm cooling. Um, I did measure the highest, the smallest part of my waist and that came out to like 26 inches. So like 0.5 less well actually it says here 25.8 i'm just gonna say 20 i'm just gonna write in here 26 and i'm just gonna write by my navel i'm gonna add two so right now by my navel 26.7 highest part of my waist 26 so eventually obviously with time as i'm trying to do this fat loss stage i would like to just lose inches and if not grow muscle mass so i don't necessarily want to have like abs if that makes sense because i feel like if you train your abdominal you might get muscular here and although i do find that very attractive there's a lot of like women who power lift and they have really strong cores and i find that very like attractive i think it looks great i don't know if i want that for me so i kind of just want to try and build mass on my legs, my shoulders, my back, everywhere all around, I am gonna train my core. I just, like goal-wise right now, I'd rather try and just lose inches off my waist and also my arms. I have to measure my arms, I did not do that. And that's where I'm at, current goals, lose inches from my arms, lose inches from my abdominal, what else? My back, kinda just build mass on there and obviously just fat loss in general while trying to build lean mass. Yesterday I under ate my macros a little bit. I just was so hungry. I was so full by nighttime. I was hungry and then I was so full that I just was like, fuck it. Like I, I don't wanna overeat if that makes, not overeat, but I don't wanna eat just because I have to fit in my macros because I was already really, really stuffed. Like I was stuffed and I hit like 1400, but I think the reason why I felt so stuffed was because my protein was at, my, I hit my protein goal of 135 grams, it's supposed to be at 136, so I hit 135 grams of protein yesterday, my fat was lower, I needed to eat more, I'm adjusting to these macros, so I had to eat more fat and more carbs, so my carbs were at 149, I had about 10 carbs, like 12, 10 to 15 carbs left, like 15 carbs left, and then my fat, I had like 15 more grams left so i had 15 more grams left of carbs and 15 more grams left of fat which is amazing i don't even know why i could have had halo top or something i just i knocked out i knocked out so that happened but today i will be doing my best to hit my macros and hit my numbers and i don't know if i'm going to be vlogging that because this vlog is already probably going to be a little long but if i do it would just be another vlog so i will see you guys next time mm -hmm.